it's Robin Lucian again from the Artsy Nest Studio. Um, <clears throat> I have a haul here. It's from the Dollar Tree. And the nice thing about this is, um, except for when they were there were pairs of things, everything was a dollar. <laughs> so I'm going to show you some things that for an artsy person, uh, my haul might look a little bit unconventional but you'll see what I bought things for in just a second okay uh, now I did go to the Dollar Tree store for my haul but then I made a trip to um, our local Hallmark store we have about six of them here in Erie I went to one that's closest to me to check out and see a lot of them have, um, they carry the Dayspring Illustrated Faith products. This one just so happened it didn't. But while I was there, I checked out a couple of things and um, I picked up a few really cute little goodies. So anyway, here we go. Uh, one of the first things I got now, what mixed media artist, artsy fartsy person, could ever get enough washi tape? Oh, let's see. There we go. Look at these. How cute they are. The the patterns. Um, and it it's actually just like scotch tape. My TV just was on sleep mode and it just clicked on. So I don't know if that's going to be a bother. Hang on. I'm going to go close my door. Okay, so anyway, um, yeah, these tapes, oh gosh, they're just so cute. I just love the designs. Let me get into the light there. There we go. Better, better, better. Yep. Nice. And they really, they have um, the feeling, the texture and it, the adhesive on it is really just like um, scotch tape. It's funny. Now, <clears throat> they had some neat palettes of, uh, here we go, eyeshadows too. Nice colors here. Now, the reason why I bought these is not to do my makeup, which I, I, I do very rarely. My daughter did my makeup yesterday when I went to the store, and she is... <laughs> She wants to go to school for it. She really should. She she does a wonderful job. She um, did the contouring and everything. But uh, if you could see the uh, baby wipes that I used to take off the majority of the makeup. Um, yeah, there was a couple inches there on my face. Makeup does wonders, too. Makes you look almost human. <laughs> All right, so what I'm going to do with these. Um, number one, I did a while back... I didn't have a video, but um, a couple different people did, where you do um, the packing tape on the jelly print plate. And what you have to do, though, is on the sticky side of it, you have to rub it with, they were using like, um, oh, now I can't remember the name of them, but the, the powdered, um, pigmented, like H2, wait, um, see... Here I go. Everybody watching, I know you're going to know what I'm talking about. I just can't think of the name of it. But just, you know, um, it, look, it's, it is the exact same thing as eyeshadow. In fact, when I did mine, I didn't have these pretty palettes, but I used an eyeshadow on the back of mine, and it worked awesome. A little bit of the color shows through the clear tape also. So depending on what color you use against the paints that you used on your tape, it's it's awesome. It's beautiful. Nice um, transparent background coloring and everything. So here we go. That's four bucks. It was a dollar a piece, you know. Nice. And who knows, maybe a few of these are nice enough that I could, if I toned it down a little bit, hmm, use it on my eyelids. So there's that. And then who can't get enough of this? You know, sometimes I think that this tape just costs way too much. 
So I figured for a dollar a roll, and they're a good size roll, and it's nice and sturdy. I've already used it. Um, yeah, this is nice tape here. So masking tape from the Dollar Tree store. Good job. I like that. Uh, hair. These are hair ties. Now they come in a package of... Ooh, let me count these here. One, two, three, four, five, six. And you know, I don't know if this one came from another one, but this is something that they're good for. Just holding your sketchbooks closed or, or any kind of notebooks closed. What I want these for though is, and here I've got black ones, just plain black ones also. There's a whole bunch of them there. I don't want to count them, sorry. <laughs> no, I'm being lazy. Uh, anyway, to make the little hole, and I have um, the grommets or whatever, the metal ones that you can put in there to protect the hole that you punched, and um, put those, say, in the back there with a, a, a knot, and then have the closure for it. So, um, yeah, you know, maybe this wasn't a good day for me to do a video. I have not had sleep for days. Just broken up here and there, cat naps here and there, sleep. And I'm telling you, simple things I can't even think of. <laughs> uh, well, it'll get better. I go. I have a tendency to go in cycles, so I'm just waiting for the good cycle to come around again. But anyway, this is just uh, one of my little, it's a moleskin, I believe. No, it's Strathmore. Just my small journal and um, I just wanted to hold the pages closed nice so I put this on there but that's what these hair bands are good for plain black ones nice if you don't want to you know have a contrasting or um, yeah whatever color with yours so <clears throat> there's another thing from my haul I love pens I love pretty pens these probably don't right worth doo-doo but um I just thought these were really cute so I could have them handy if I need them maybe one in my journal or um a, a little notebook for my purse you know but look at that isn't that aren't they cute okay there's that these <clears throat> nobody can get enough Kleenexes and look at the designs on here oh my gosh I was like what? Now I saw a video also of somebody who made a beautiful little fabric tissue holder for their purse. And I'm going to watch the video again and learn how they did it. Because, yeah, the problem with having these is there's usually that sticky portion that you have to pull back every time you want to get a Kleenex out. And, and it's a pain in the butt. So... And even if these don't have that, I still want to make the little cloth one. But for now, for it to have one in my purse like this, it's cute. I think it would look cute, uh, uh, say, if you were giving a little gift basket away of a journal and something artsy and a, a boho piece of jewelry with some nice bright colors. And then you add one or two of these to it. Just so cute, you know, kind of... Uh, just goes with it. I'm going to put that up here. Now, I've got a bunch of these, which I bet you know what I'm going to do with them. Nice colors, too. I got two of a couple because I was just throwing them in my basket. But um, I want to do that pretty marbled paper. And I think these colors are just awesome. So, the only thing I didn't get was black, but my daughter has a full um, black nail polish she said I can have. So, I think that's going to do some cute uh, swirled marble papers for underlays. Or if I do it on a thicker paper, it might make a nice cover for a journal or uh, art art journal or junk journal. So... Yeah, I love these colors. I love them all. There's two oranges in here I thought were kind of neat. I don't know if I can get the light to make it look right. See? One is called... Uh, 
it says spat and the other one says spat no that can't be hmm, that's what it says oh well see this says meadow so obviously both of these are called spat but they're different <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Okay. So, um, then I got my, it's over here, my granddaughter, some, these cute little sandwich bags that have the frozen design on them, different designs. She loves frozen. Now, look at these Kleenex boxes for my craft room. Look at the design. Oh my goodness. I just love these. I bought three of them. Unless I'm sick, I don't go through tissues that much. I call them Kleenex just by the name brand because I just grew up calling them Kleenex. But anyway, um, aren't these cute? Oh, I loved them. I thought, you know, I could do a video of this too. Uh, when this is empty, here's the side, one of the sides. Take that apart. Um, I have Velcro that sticks on with glue on one end, on, you know, for the the receiving and the whatever it is that, you know, holds them together. I don't know what they're called. But anyway, so I could just refill this, take, take a new box, take them out and stick them in there in the side with the roll up, you know, and they'd all come out the right way and Velcro it closed. So <laughs> for a buck, a buck, a buck. Yeah, so I only got three of these, but they had a ton of them. I tell you, I would like to get more. Just, I hate going into and Kleenexes and, and all of the uh, designs that they have in the box are just really ugly, you know? So, I don't know. <laughs> Maybe it's my OCDs. I kind of like things to match a little bit. Uh, all right, let's see. I think I have all this stuff here. Oh, wait. No. Right now, I'm going to get to a few of the things I got at Hallmark. First of all, I did get a reward card, and I have the small one in my wallet. But this, I thought, you know, this is the perfect... I don't have any of these. This is plastic, but it's thin, and I, I don't know. I just... I liked it, so I'm using that for paint and gesso and whatnot. And then... I am addicted to any type of notebooks, notebooks, journals, uh, you name it, little notepads. I just thought this was too cute. Look what it says. It says, uh, hopes, dreams, memories, thoughts, notes, musings, wishes, stories, ramblings, daydreams. And um, not all, some of the pages are lined. Let me see here. But for some reason you can see like a grid design also in there. I just thought they were really neat. And they have different sayings up above. Uh, here, ramblings. Look at that one. Isn't that awesome? Dreams. Notes, lists, ideas. And this has the little thing that keeps it closed, too. So I really like that. And this, I didn't save any of the tags on these things, but, I mean, it was relatively inexpensive. I mean, Hallmark stores can be a little bit pricey, but I think this was like $3, and I really thought it was worth the money, so I grabbed it. Um, they had these up at the desk, right at, or at the uh, front register, and these were all $2. And I just love this one. Yeah. See, um, I have calendars everywhere, just everywhere. But I got two other ones. They are Folk Art by David, and I have a lot of primitive folk art in the other rooms in my home. So I got one for my kitchen, and I gave one to my daughter because she took up after my love of primitive folk art, and that's what her house is done in. So she has one now for her kitchen. So I got that. Then they had these Crayola Fine Line marker, markers because they had the uh, different adult coloring books. And I just, I thought, well, what the heck, they were cheap too. I think three bucks. But the colors, I, I tried a couple of them out and the colors are really nice too. So, you know, you can never get enough markers and you don't want to pay $60 for a set of, what's here, 12, you know, 
So, I mean, I, I grabbed them. I could put them to good use. And so, that's it. That's my haul for the day. Oh, no, wait. Two more things. Do you know how... Okay, well, I'm just going to hold my phone here and finish off this video. Um, the last couple things I wanted to show that I had gotten at uh, the Hallmark store at a real reasonable price. Let's see. Uh, see, what do you think? $4.99. I guess that's not reasonable. But I have arthritis really bad. And, boy, when my daughter saw these and then she showed me. I thought, I, I've got to have these. So, and one is for muscle therapy, and the other one is for deep relaxation. Um, what's in it? Let me read here. It says, relaxing bath with natural essential oils. Uh, this is Melissa and Valerian. This one says, muscle therapy, juniper and wintergreen oil, and it's regenerating bath with natural essential oils. Um, I'll tell you, I have some... Um, Epsom salts that have eucalyptus and other uh, so like lavender and eucalyptus and some other scents. You know, the minute you get in that tub and and just sit down in that water, you almost feel like the toxins and everything are just coming right out. You just are instantly relaxed. I just I love it. So I want to try these, but then look at these cute bags they give you. Look at that. These are definitely going to be used in some kind of project. Keep your heart brave and your imagination wild. Yeah. And look at that design on the back. I just love that. That doodled look. Here. Uh, I got to put the phone. No, nope, can't do that. I thought there was a design on the side. Yeah, here we go. Look at that. The bird and the tulip and cloud and whatnot. Oh. So that's the end of my video, but I'll be back and I'll be showing you what I'm doing with these. Oh, look at that. Look what's happened. That is not paint. That is stain by Martha Stewart. I was staining old books that will be used for art journals. So, all right, that's my haul. I will see you later. Bye. Okay, well, I'm just going to hold my phone here and finish off this video. Um, the last couple things I wanted to show that I had gotten at uh, the Hallmark store at a real reasonable price. Let's see. Uh, see, what do you think? $4.99. I guess that's not reasonable. But I have arthritis really bad. And, boy, when my daughter saw these and then she showed me, I thought, I, I've got to have these. So, and one is for muscle therapy, and the other one is for deep relaxation. Um, what's in it? Let me read here. It says, relaxing bath with natural essential oils. Uh, this is Melissa and Valerian. This one says, muscle therapy, juniper and wintergreen oil, and it's regenerating bath with natural essential oils. Um, I'll tell you, I have some... Um, Epsom salts that have eucalyptus and other, uh, so like lavender and eucalyptus and some other scents. You know, the minute you get in that tub and, and just sit down in that water, you almost feel like the toxins and everything are just coming right out. You just are instantly relaxed. I just, I love it. So I want to try these. But then look at these cute bags they give you. Look at that. These are definitely going to be used in some kind of project. Keep your heart brave and your imagination wild. Yeah. And look at that design on the back. I just love that. That doodled look. Here. Uh, I got to put the phone. No, nope, can't do that. I thought there was a design on the side. Yeah, here we go. Look at that. The bird and the tulip and cloud and whatnot. Oh. So that's the end of my video, but I'll be back and I'll be showing you what I'm doing with these. Oh, look at that. Look what's happened. That is not paint. That is stain by Martha Stewart. I was staining old books 
that will be used for art journals. So, all right, that's my haul. I will see you later. Bye.